Welcome to a week in my life vlog. You are going to get some insight into how our week pans out as full-time content creators, both myself and my partner, Alistair. It is a full on week with lots of behind the scenes, lots of planning, just different things going on. So you're gonna get some really good insight into our business and our lifestyle. So we like to start our Sundays going to the farmer's market in Milton. Um, this is a really great bakery there that makes the best sourdough bread. We haven't found anywhere in Brisbane that makes it better. Fruits and veggies, go grab a coffee and just spend some time in the sun. time at the markets on Sundays is pretty much a way for Alistair and I to check in with each other about our big goals, things we want to accomplish, things we want to make time for, and it really gets us set up for our week ahead, our month ahead. It basically reminds us of the really important big things that we want to achieve so that we can create a plan, make sure we're on track with that plan and we're taking consistent action. So something that is super important to us is we have space and time to think big. Now, usually I do not do client work on weekends. I try to make it a very strict rule, but I have a shoot tomorrow and I wanted to get some images off to my client Bitesoft. Um, so I'm just finalizing a few things with this gallery so I can get majority of images off to them today. But this is, guys, this is my desk. Like fucking scrunchies everywhere. Um, these are for, uh, for a collab that I'm doing, but <laughs> task cam, like just random shit, two pairs of blue lap looking glasses. I'm very basic, like because I work on this table, I don't like to keep it styled or anything. So this is what my workspace looks like. So something that I like to do every Sunday is map out my week ahead and see what kind of things I have going on. So I use a diary called Curation. I've been using this for the last like three years. It's my favorite. I have two shoots on this week. So tomorrow and Thursday, which are both studio shoots and I will take you with me. Um, I've got some editing to do. I've got some paid partnership content and I've got a YouTube video to film and some other things in the pipeline that I have to plan. Pre-production work, clients. There's a lot going on this week. So you'll get some insight into many parts of my business and all the things that I do every single day. But for now, I need to get everything in here on here and free up some brain space. So this is where I put down my shoots and edits. This is just to give me an overall view of what my week will look like. Um, this is where I put down like tasks that will push me towards my big goals. So it's usually YouTube stuff and course content that I put here. And then I basically fill in all the days with things that I wanna do. I use this habit tracker a lot. So movement, I try to drink two liters of water, reading, and I'm currently learning YouTube ads. Um, so this is something that I try to do every second or third day to educate myself, but I'm trying to include more education in my routine. So we're about to head off and go do hot yoga. It's a 4.30 class on a Sunday, 90 minutes, Bikram yoga. We've been doing this for just over a year now and it's kind of like our Sunday non-negotiable, perfect way to end the week, start the week gets us a good night's sleep on a Sunday night. Um, this session is always a punish because there's quite a few people in the class. It's very hot and it, it's, it's always a struggle for some reason. Um, but yeah, I will let you know how I feel in a couple hours. It's so fucking hot. So that I wanted to leave multiple times. But the thing I learned from this session, I feel like I learned something from every yoga session is that the instructor was talking about how everyone is, it's a public class, but everyone is on their private journey. And I was kind of resonated with that because it's like everyone's journey starts somewhere different. And so when it comes to like comparison and comparing yourself to people on social media and everything like that, it's like everyone's journey is so different. Everyone starts at different places and you just have to focus on you. So it's like in the yoga class, 
in a yoga class, you just have to focus on you and getting better at every single class that you go to instead of focusing on what everyone else is doing. So that's what I took away. And that's the lesson for today. So babe, what are we having for dinner? We've got Chipotle chicken for dinner. These are um, delivered this morning for us. It's just, you know, we would rather prepare a meal of course, but this is super efficient. It's sort of like in two to five minutes we can have dinner ready and clean up is super minimal. And the food quality is actually awesome. Um, the only thing we change is we don't heat it up in the plastic. We move it all over to a bowl first and then pop it in the microwave. So by having the pre-made meals, this is actually one way we've optimized our time during the week. So we save about five to six hours a week by having pre-made meals. We don't have to cook. We don't have to like really clean up or anything. So this is one of our um, productivity hacks. And finishing off the day, binge watching some Stranger Things. Season four has been the biggest roller coaster, but the best TV I think I have ever watched. So it's time for bed. The one thing I did want to um, highlight was the colored lights. I'm a huge fan of colored lighting, um, but this just sets the mood for us and makes our bedroom a really nice environment. Red light's actually really good for you before you go to sleep as well. So these bulbs are from LifeX um, and you can change the color. Obviously that's my side because it's like pink and then Alistair's side, but, but I hope you've enjoyed today. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's about 8.30 in the morning, <laughs> that's bright. Um, we have a photo shoot in about half an hour and I'm gonna make myself a coffee, have some toast and get ready. So we're just setting up for our photo shoot. We're using a gray concrete wall today, photo and video. There's Babe. Hey. What you doing? Just getting this grid on the soft box. Honeycomb grid? Yeah. And what does that do? It sort of just directs the light a bit better and um, I just like the way it looks. <laughs> Say hello. hello. I'm doing a weekly vlog, so. <laughs> We've got Kat, our beautiful model today, and Claire, makeup artist. We love her. Going for Chloe, what are we going for today? I don't even know. I'm just doing a very natural, <laughs> low maintenance, soft glam. Love that. So we're still setting up lighting. This is taking about half an hour or so. So I'm, we're getting there. Sometimes it takes a while, and that's okay because we want best results. We've got a big soft box up here, okay. and then I'm stepping in as the model to test out the lighting. We can um, give you a mirror too. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just look a bit more of like an application. That's a good idea. Always. on some outfits. Oh yeah. The pumps, the haze in there. We could go blonde. Actually don't mind this. So it's about 2.30 and we just got home. Gonna have some lunch, feeling a little tired. Not much else going on this afternoon, but I'm gonna see how I feel after I eat and then what I plan to do for the rest of the afternoon. And this is what we're having for lunch today. Chia crust with salmon. Chinese citizens are rebelling over having their bank accounts frozen. In a rare show of defiance, protesters on Sunday clashed with going to blame themselves and say, sorry everybody, sorry about the job, sorry about the death. So I've had a quick little shot of my eyes. I don't know why I feel so tired today, but I'm going to get a couple of emails done and then I'm gonna sift through the photos that I took today. I only have to deliver five images, so it's not a huge shoot that I have to do, but 
be nice to get that out of the road so that tomorrow I can just focus on non-client work stuff. So now Alistair and I are sitting down together just to go through some quotes that we have to send off. Um, these projects are for photo and video, so we need to make sure that we send through all the information at once for both photo and video and the approximate costs and just get the ball rolling. So it's about 10 to 6 and we're still doing some admin work. I'm going to upload the selection of photos that I've sifted through from today's shoot to my client. Um, we've gotten back to a couple of inquiries. Proposals can take a while to do. Um, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. This morning I woke up and I just felt like my energy was off. So I started my day with some meditation and slow breathing. We then spent some time cleaning up the kitchen and living room. A clean space always equals a clean mind. I cannot stand when there is clutter around my space. We then dove into planning our product videography course that we are bringing out in November. We are so excited for this. We were planning out the entire outline and making sure we have a solid plan going into scripting, filming, and editing. So today for me is a non-client work day. I'm not working on any shoots or edits. This day is purely going to be put towards um, some planning for other projects. So Alistair and I have just mapped out a few details with the launch of our product video course, which we're so excited about. And now I have more course planning to do because I am working with Moodlier on their upcoming course in September. I think it's going to be launching. So at the moment I'm planning the Moodlier course and I'm using um, Notion. Now this is actually a template that I bought from Vanessa Lau. I am obsessed with her. I just eat up all of her content and I bought this um, template from her to help me plan out all of my content over different platforms. So now what I'm gonna do is probably do some social media stuff. So maybe create a reel. I'm gonna post on my stories and share my masterclass. I haven't shared that in a while and I would really love to push that out more. And the next thing on my agenda today as well is to look at some advertising for my course. So I am currently learning uh, how to do YouTube ads. There's so much, oh my God, having a course is, it never stops. There's so much work involved with producing content, with the marketing side, there's just, it, it's a lot. So before we go to the gym, um, Babe is going to show me his latest edit, which we're so excited to get over to our client. It's this is kind funny. of like a process that we do. He always shows me what he's working on before we send it off to anyone. Um, I always love to see what it comes out with, so let's go. It's gonna be pretty funny. Yeah. So it's 20 to three and we're both taking a little break from our computers, from work and heading off to the gym. It's leg day for me. And we kind of go around this time because A, it's super quiet in the gym. So it's kind of like free range of anything that we want. Um, and we just feel like it's a good time for us to have a break from like the morning shift. And then we come home and do a little bit more work for the afternoon evening shift. From the gym I'm feeling pretty tired actually I could feel like I could use a nap uh, I've got some inquiries to get back to some quotes to send so I'm gonna do some emails right now um, that's probably gonna take me half an hour and then I think we'll wrap it up for the day so at 6 30 I'm still actually doing some admin work uh, we have a lot of inquiries that have come up in the last week or so and they're all really big projects so they've taken a while to 
draw out proposals for, but also the timelines trying to work out when we can potentially do things. Um, it's actually quite hard to juggle inquiries when everything is kind of around the same time. It's then time to finish off the day with some good old Mario Odyssey. I've got two phone calls this morning and then I've got five photos to take for my client Bitesoft. These are the last photos that I have to finalize the entire project. So I really want to get this project off my plate this week, done and dusted. Um, so hopefully I can shoot and edit those today. I've got an appointment at one o'clock and I think that'll probably be my to-do list for the day. I am feeling a little bit run down. Um, I've got the sniffles. I have no idea how. Um, and I'm just gonna take things a bit slower because tomorrow we have a full day shoot. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a really big day, but you will see everything that we're doing. It's gonna be really exciting and really colorful and really fun. So I have been having this little battle in my brain about this inquiry that I have and it's a big project, it's about 32 images and I would have to hire out a studio um, for two full days, maybe a little bit more, I actually don't know, to get it done. And looking at the quote and drawing it up is already making me feel a bit stressed, a bit overwhelmed, especially with all the other inquiries that are kind of like sitting in the stage where I feel like they're gonna get booked and I'd rather do those ones um, than take on this project. And it's mostly because this big project has a strict deadline at the end of August. And while I could probably do it and push through, I just feel like my gut is telling me it's gonna be adding a lot more stress to my month of all the things that I feel like will get booked in um, in addition to filming my mood lié course and just a couple of other things, I just, I've been battling the last 24 hours whether or not to send this quote. And I think I'm just gonna say I don't have capacity, which I probably don't. I would rather put my energy towards other things. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna do it. So it's quarter to one and I'm heading off to my appointment and then we're gonna go to the gym, get a quick cardio session in and then I'll come home and work on some photos if I feel like it. I haven't decided yet, we'll see how I feel later. Just got back from the gym, had a shower, washed my hair, now I'm all cozy. Uh, I'm just gonna sit down and do some admin work. I don't know if I feel like shooting today, I'm still feeling pretty run down to be honest. Um, so I'm taking it easy, listening to my body, and I'm still gonna have a productive afternoon. So we are just after 4.30, and I'm just learning some ads. <laughs> I'm trying to learn ads for my online course, um, and I'm learning from a Film Business Master. So we bought their course, um, it's been really great so far, and I'm gonna settle in for an afternoon of learning. What are we doing today, babe? Today we are off to shoot an amazing production for our friends at Florence James Studios. So yes. we're making a video that's basically to show the versatility of their studio space. Um, so they'll be using it to market to other creatives. Yeah, it's a really cool project. Hey. Hey. Oh my God. Hello. That beautiful model Kedji. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog, please. Hi, vlog. Fuck you all. Let's <laughs> see what it looks like. Nice, nice. Yeah. And three, two, one, and action. So bad myself. Let me get one. I love it. This is great. And can you just at the back be like, yeah. <laughs> Like, can we do the actual shot now? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get out. 
takes me like 40 minutes to do but I think we think we got there. That is a wrap. It is 7.30. We've been here since 9 a.m., which is a full-on day, but we're so happy with how all the content came out. It just, every scene looked absolutely incredible. I'm so just happy and grateful that this, this is what I get to do as a job. Like, it just blows my mind, but I'm very ready to go home, have a hot shower, kind of start to take off this makeup, um, settle in and watch some Stranger Things. <laughs> It's Friday morning and I am so exhausted from yesterday, but our apartment somehow got messy all over again. It's so crazy how quickly that happens. So we spent some time again, just cleaning everything up to make sure we have a clean decluttered space. Anyone else find cleaning therapeutic as well? It's Friday, 9.30 and I am feeling a little wrecked from this week. Um, I still have the sniffles. I'm still feeling a little, a little tired. Yesterday was just so much fun. I honestly feel so fulfilled from that whole entire shoot. We got to work with all of our best friends. Like it's just, it's just so cool that that is our job and that that's what we get to do. I, I honestly just have to pinch myself. Um, so today <laughs> uh, I'm going to be transferring all the footage I took yesterday on my camera. I maxed out a 128 gig, so there's a lot of stuff there. I have a phone call at 10.30 for a, regarding a partnership. I have a phone call at 11, um, going through some pre-production with a client. And then I have to take these by soft photos. So that is on my to-do list today. And then that's it. I actually can't, I actually don't have the energy to go to the gym or anything. Um, I am feeling a bit run down. I won't lie. All will be revealed in two days. All will be revealed in two days. Wait, why is that warehouse staff throwing this bucket over Matt? All will be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is that warehouse staff throwing this bucket over Matt? Find out in two days. Doing some voiceover, babe. Yeah. <laughs> trying to nail it. So babe, how do we how do we start the process of voiceovers for clients? 
I will do the voiceover myself. I just record it on the voice memo app on my phone and then airdrop it to the computer. And I just read the script. So it's like we figure out the script in pre-production and um, sometimes like throughout the process, you might want to change that script or the client might want changes. So if you, give, if you do the voiceover yourself, you have a voiceover there to edit the video to and then you edit it, give it to the client and then if there's any other changes or maybe you've you know, got new changes or new ideas, you can um, change them before you go and engage a voiceover artist and pay them to do a voiceover so you don't need to ask them for changes. It's like you can give a finalised script to them. It's finally time to do this bite soft shoot that I have been putting off all week because I just have not had the energy. Here's a little behind the scenes. I don't really work from my home studio anymore. Um, we have moved into a larger space where we're doing all our shoots and I can tell you it is so nice to have a larger space to work with. So it's nearly 2.30 and I've just finished shooting my five images. So something I want to say with these, with these images is that I actually already shot these a week or so ago. And then during my editing process, I didn't really like them. There was just something that I didn't feel was completely right. And I just wasn't confident to give it to the client. And so for me, if I'm not confident in an image, I will not pursue that image and I will reshoot it. And so this way, I know that when I'm delivering a gallery, I am 100% confident if I receive any kind of pushback that is more on the artistic side, I can say, well, I really love this image. It matches the brief, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for the five photos I did today, I am so much happier with how they've turned out. Sometimes all you need is a break between shooting days when you're doing client work. Um, especially for larger projects. So this project was 30 images. I did this across basically three to four shooting days. I don't shoot the entire day. And I find that this just helps me to ensure that the work is to a quality that I want it to be to a certain standard. And it's okay to take breaks. And that's why I say that I have a certain turnaround time. I actually want to increase it. Um, so. If I'm doing a larger project, it might be a four week turnaround time. This allows you to have creative space. So something I will ask my client is if they have any priority images when I have a larger project. So this way I can get like five or 10 to them as quickly as possible. And then I have more time to get the others done. I don't have to rush through the process. The worst thing that we can do as creators is rush. And sometimes I don't think brands necessarily understand that, that we need creative space. And sometimes that means we need a week between shooting. Anyway, that's how I operate. Works for me, it works for my clients, everyone's happy. So that's just a little process that I go through. After a huge week, it's time to relax for some Mario Odyssey. If you haven't played this game, I highly recommend it. Saturday morning, what a week. It has been a full on week. Um, I'm still feeling a little bit run down, a little bit tired. I haven't had the best night's sleeps this week at all. Um, today I was gonna film a YouTube video, but I might leave that for tomorrow because I just feel like I need some rest and recuperation and just chill out a little bit. So I'm going to start my day with some reading and I'll probably do some like coursework, I don't know, some planning, but just have a really relaxing and nice day. So I'm currently reading this book. I really love this author and um, these types of books, these are like kind of chick flick romance novels. These are my guilty pleasure. I could just sit here all day and read it, um, which is basically what I'm kind of doing. So I thought I would update some of the images on our website because I haven't updated these in ages and I've got some nice new work to show off. So I am removing some stuff from my portfolio and adding some new work. 
So we are 4.42 and I've been working on this the whole afternoon. This day turned into me updating our entire website with new photos um, of us. How cute is this photo? This is from the shoot the other day. Looks so good. Um, And just um, updated work from our portfolio. So everything finally reflects our most recent work. Everything's looking great. And this took me like four hours, <laughs> but worth it because your website is super important. So it is Sunday again. I thought I would film today. So I guess you're getting eight days in my life. Um, everything today was meant to happen yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a write off, a rest day, uh, but I've got to get a YouTube video filmed today. So I will show you my YouTube setup and everything that I use. Um, and then we are heading over to our friend's place because one of our friends is leaving to go back to America, which is really sad. Uh, so I'll be making mac and cheese the second time in my life. Hopefully I can do it right this time. <laughs> Firstly though, just some online shopping. I am obsessed with glass house candles and I have so many and I do not need more, but you get a free candle when you buy two. And uh, that shit works on me. So let's check out. So for all my YouTube scripts, I do them inside of Notion. And because this one is a sponsored one, I can send this link to the brand to get their approval on the script. Um, once I've got their approval, I am good to move ahead with filming. So because I use a teleprompter, I copy paste it into my notes app so that I can then put it onto my phone uh, and put it into the teleprompter app. So this is my YouTube setup. I've actually switched my background lighting to these newer lights. Um, I got really just perfectionist about having the Pavo tubes in the background of all my videos and it just annoyed me. So I've opted for these ones. These are so good. Like I highly recommend. They're so fun. We've used them on so many shoots. Uh, pink over there. And then I've got my ring light from Lavo. So bright. And then my teleprompter. So... Oh. So how this works is your phone goes in there and then the words reflect back up onto this screen and it just attaches like to your camera lens. It's the brand. But that's how I film all my YouTube videos and get through it. More efficient. Oh, I'm not doing a speech. Why not right now. At the end. At the end. Okay. Maybe. We'll hold you to it. Yeah. We'll have a little yeah, ceremony. All right. There. Then, <laughs> then we go with the gravy. Is that's, it gooey? That's the sound. That's the sound you want with macaroni. Oh, wow. Jesus. Look at that. It could, oh, it's so squash. It could oh. be more gooey. Fuck. They'd be pretty. Yeah. They're they're definitely really good. I just so wanted to do this just then. So that is a week in my life. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was an interesting experience to document everything that I had to do during the day. Um, I probably won't do these vlogs that often just because they are a lot of work and they're pretty long as well. So if you did enjoy it, let me know. Or if you want to see more just like days in my life, let me know too. But I hope you found it insightful. And if you have any questions, let me know.